Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> it is Fun Fong Friday. I'm here today with Jonathan Fong. We are making some solar eclipse projects for you today. This is Stephanie. And I'm Stephanie. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. Thank you. We can't forget that. <laughs> so, anyways, Jonathan, what are we making today? Well, the solar eclipse is coming up on Monday, Monday morning. Yay! That's really cool. It's so exciting. Well, Monday morning here, but they'll yeah. be like in the afternoon on the East Coast. Right. Uh, you know, check your local times. Mm -hmm. uh, so everybody is like geeking out over this and are so excited because this only happens once in a blue moon. Ooh, I used I, another the, reference. The name. last one I read was 38 years ago. Oh. So yeah. Wow. That's enough for a blue moon, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so to get ready, well, well, you know, people are buying uh, these eclipse glasses, or they're getting them free sometimes at their public libraries, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you know, they they look like this, and uh, you know, you put them on, and they're, they're totally black. You don't see anything. Uh, the problem is uh, they're pretty much sold out or you know you, they're not available pretty much anymore because of the mad rush to get them and then also you know when they're selling them on Amazon you know I saw on the news that fakes. they're fakes uh, you know a lot of them and Amazon has had to like let people know that you know there there have been fakes uh, so it's horrible to see a he's a fake because uh, you never want to look directly at the sun right cuz uh, you could go blind you you will you will go blind uh, and if you if you're using a fake glasses i mean it's it's horrible yeah, you're really looking bad. yeah so uh, don't use sunglasses i mean it's you should never look directly and at the sun and probably don't use 3d glasses either oh, oh <laughs> if you no. have those at home just like, keep them up from that day yeah so we are going to make today a uh, do it yourself uh, projector that you can look at the eclipse uh, in this cereal box. Uh, uh, in a, a cereal box, guys. With How a, cool with, is with that? With a pinhole. And you may have done this in grade school or, or, or something. I mean, we did something similar in junior high where we actually made pinhole cameras. And this is a similar concept, but it, it works. I tried it out and, and it's, it's great. So we're going to start with the cereal box. All right. We both have cereal boxes. And you're going to have uh, some aluminum foil. And we have some white paper and a little nail and some tape. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you have this white piece of paper mm -hmm. and it is going to go in the bottom of the cereal box. Right. So you're going to take the cereal box and put it on top of the white paper and just trace it out uh, with a pencil. Oh, I like that you did it You did it on the corner. That's smart. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll hold it for you so you can mm -hmm. trace I'm a lefty. it. Uh, of course. And yeah, so, so far so good. Let's see if I can do this right handed. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm awesome. You're good. Thank you. Okay, so and let me let me trace mine. Uh, so oh, I this. didn't get it with my right hand. No, after all. Yeah. Oh well, you kind of know. I'll just cut you, it. You there. kind of know. Yeah. So let me do mine. It doesn't have to be exact. Also, I have the world's worst pencil here because <laughs> I don't have a pencil sharpener. So I blame it on the pencil. Yeah, that's it, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's take your scissors and cut it. Cut it up. And I cut within the lines because we just want to make it small enough to get into the bottom of the box. So if you're just tuning in, we are making DIY eclipse uh, pinhole projectors uh, so that you can watch the eclipse on Monday. And uh, we are in Santa Monica, California, so let us know where you are watching from and so we can give a shout out to you and say hi. Yeah. We want to know where you're watching from and whether you're planning to watch the eclipse or not. Yeah. Uh, so uh, say hi to us. Let, let us know where you're watching from. And let us know if you have any questions about what we're doing or how you can do it too. Just anything. You anything. can even ask us, you know, what my favorite color is if you want. What is your favorite color? <laughs> pink. I love pink too. And blue. <laughs> <laughs> a pink and another orange. Okay. Uh, we have this white paper now and we'll just put it at the bottom and tape it to the bottom. If, 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 it, if it's a little big, uh, trying to show the camera this and I don't think it's working at all. We have a bunch of people saying where they are watching from. Oh, let's hear where people are watching from. Oh, there's so many. Let's see. Felicia from Florida. Felicia from Florida. Hi. Felicia. Hi. Yeah. Noelle from Charleston, South Carolina. Hello, Noelle. Hi, oh Noelle. Gosh, hold on. They keep coming in. Karen from St. Louis, Missouri. Karen. Right, Karen, welcome. Christy from Utah. Christy from Utah. Hi. Hi, Christy. Hi. Oregon. Who from Oregon? Connie. Hi, Connie. 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 You love Connie. Um, who else? Arlen from Florida. Arlen from Florida. Hi, Arlen. What else do we have? Oh, yeah, we have so many. I'm just 
would say like we've got North Dakota, North we've got Dakota, Alabama, Alabama, North Carolina, North Carolina. Indiana. That's why I went to college. It's so great. Right. So great. So many. Thank you. Thanks guys yeah. for tuning in. Georgia, Las Georgia, Vegas, Las Vegas, Texas, Texas, Utah, Ohio, basically the United States. Okay, so everyone <laughs> in the United States is watching. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Well, keep, 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 so keep coming in. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll get back to you. Really and quickly, um, Jonathan, what yeah. kind of paper are you using? Oh, um, good. Shelly would like to know. Shelly, Shelly, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're, this is just like uh, the print record. Uh, pr uh, computer computer printer, printer, printer paper. 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 Just eight and a half by eleven white, white paper. paper. Yeah, no big deal there. Okay, so I just put it in, and you okay. can tape it to the bottom, but mine was kind of snug, so I didn't even need to tape it. Same. Okay, so, but yeah, you could tape it just for safety if you want, but sure. it's not even coming out, okay. Uh, then... I'm not going to try that because mine will come out. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it does, you should tape it to make sure. Uh, okay, then I'm going to close it up. Okay. Then we're going to eyeball like two inches on either side of this, because we're going to cut openings on two sides. So I'm just going to, yeah. Just eyeball. You can measure it, but I'm just eyeballing it because it doesn't have to be exact. Um, uh, and then I'm going to cut off the flaps on both sides with the scissors. So while I'm doing that, who else should I be saying hello to? <laughs> oh my gosh, you can say hello to, uh, actually first a quick question, Lance wants to know what kind of, what kind of boxes can you use? Oh. Okay, Lance, that's a good question. Lance asked what kind of boxes can you use? And I'm using a cereal box here, but you know, I've also used like a shoe box. Uh, just really, you can use any box. Uh, the, the thing is, uh, I like a little bit of length here because the farther away, or you know, the longer the box, the larger the projection uh, it will be of uh, the sun. So, uh, you can use Pretty much, you know, any box that you can easily cut up, like like if it, like a hard uh, box from uh, shipping, maybe a little difficult, but maybe you know, like those FedEx boxes. I think that would be good too. To use. Well, you were fast. Okay. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but I, I also was just cutting and. You know, I wasn't actually answering comments. Oh, so. okay, okay, that was, we'll, that was we'll, my excuse. We'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so we have the, uh, that. So let, let's just uh, tape up the middle so it doesn't right. uh, flop around now. And we have some duct tape for that. You can use packing tape. So do you see like the Eclipse banner behind us? You can make something like this with just uh, round, like yellow or orange circles, I, I actually use a, a circle punch, and then just sequentially larger black shapes and, until it's a total eclipse, and then going back. Okay. Um, John, there is one question as you're making this, and I believe the name is Mike, it's spelled M-I-Q-U-E. Okay. You say Mike? Um, well, to know, are you sure this is safe for your eyes? Oh. Thank you. Uh, so Mike wants to know, what, are you sure this is safe for your eyes? It is safe because you're not looking directly at the sun. You are looking at a projection of the sun, like through this projector. So, so you're looking like away from the sun, actually, using this technique. most successful video yet. We are 536 people tuned in live right now. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's crazy. <laughs> and we've definitely gone international. We have people from Costa Rica and Mexico what? tuning in. Costa Rica, Mexico. Awesome. Thanks guys. Hi. Philippines. 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 Uh -huh. That's Juan from the Philippines. Hi Juan. Thanks for tuning Thank in. Thank you. You know, we get viewers from the Philippines quite frequently. Me too. Me too. Yeah. All right, so I have, we both taped up the middle. What a good job we're doing. Okay. <laughs> At least I said myself. Just pat myself on yeah. the back. Okay, and, and let's take another break for another idea here. These are a little, if you're having a little party for your eclipse, these are little uh, tea lights I made. 
Well, I, I bought this tea light, you know, so you turn it on, say, and then you put it in a votive holder, and then you just put like a little black a circle in front of it, and you have like a little eclipse votive. Decor. Yeah. Oh, Perfect decor for yeah. your eclipse party. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just leave that on. That's so cute. All right, then we are going, so if you're just tuning in, we are making uh, DIY pinhole projectors uh, to watch the eclipse safely, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have glasses. So let's see us get some foil here now. Uh, we're splitting it? Yeah, we're just splitting it. Sharing is caring. Okay. All right. And on, on one side, you will put the foil. So you're putting the shinier side up. Does that it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. It's just like in the oven. <laughs> I never know whether they put the shiny side up or the dull side up. Xander, age five, says hi. Oh, hi, Xander. Xander Thanks so much for tuning in. That's so cool. Thank and you. And Kelly from Richmond, Virginia, she says she remembers doing this in elementary school when she was eight. Yes, yeah, I told you. Okay, okay, okay. he school. did say that. Yes. Yeah, I think I made something like that. So thank you for saying that. Yeah. Yeah, so we didn't invent this. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't find the end of my tape here. Do you want to borrow mine? Oh, let me wear my glasses. Hold on. Now I look scientific, which is cool. <laughs> I'm wearing my Star Wars shoes today. Yes, people. guys, they are so cool. Yeah. So this, this is uh, my themed attire for today. <laughs> because I'm a sci-fi fan. Okay, I really hope I did this right, because now we're taped in. Oh yeah, that's good. So, 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 yeah, so tape, tape the uh, aluminum foil onto the box. Okay, and then I'll do one more on the side too. Yeah, tape it all around. Oh, Patsy, it says Patsy and John, she says too, my first, my first grade class, maybe it's in the early 80s, <laughs> before NASA glasses, she says. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, is that, no. Just kidding, that was not 38 years ago. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so she made it in her first grade class. That's so cool. Yeah. You know what I made in my first grade class? What? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Aw. Nothing that I can remember. You can <laughs> yeah. So many people love your shoes, Jonathan. Oh, thank you. They're vans. <laughs> All right, I am all taped and ready to go to the next step. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. There's lots of people that have, to, you have tried this. In, in 19, for the 1963 eclipse, Ooh. Marilyn remembers doing it with a shoebox. Oh, yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah, so Marilyn did this in 1963 with a shoebox. Like, yeah, like I said, a shoebox works great, and I actually made one at home. I should have brought it. I, I made one with, uh, with a shoebox as well. Marilyn, if you're still tuning in, how was the experience? We would love to hear it. Yeah, what was it like? Yeah. So we have to wait till Monday. Like, during the eclipse, I want to know, did you develop, like, powers? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, because that happens. I've seen it on TV. Well, if it's on TV, then of course it's true. Yeah. Okay, so we, we put this on... Uh, on the aluminum foil on one side. So we are going to now, in the middle of the aluminum foil, poke a pinhole. Actually, I have a nail hole here, which is a little bit bigger than a, a, a pin, but it's, it, it'll give a nice, clean, small hole. So poke it in the middle of the hole. And poke it out, take it out, okay? And then, we have another comment. Kelly M says you can also use a welding shield. Ooh, wow. A welding shield to look at the, at the sun? Oh, that's interesting. Well, I don't know what a welding shield is, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna leave that one to you. <laughs> no, I'm guessing a welding shield is like when you're welding and you oh. have that. You know, like in the beginning of flash dance, you know, she's like mm. welding. Just a steel yeah. town girl mm -hmm. on a Saturday night, you know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I remember uh, it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, so this is done. Uh, but before we actually try these out, I want to show you, uh, oh, for your, for your eclipse party, some little snacks that you're going to want to try, like some eclipse gum. Okay, obviously. And some orbit gum. Orbit. And some uh, starburst mm. candies. So, yeah. 
load up on the Starbucks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then there, the simplest way to uh, view the Eclipse, and it's not as much fun as you know, with, with these little personalized uh, cereal box viewers, is to cut two pieces of white paper, mm -hmm. and this is about you know, 8 by 10 inches, but you, know, you can do any size. And it, it, this is cardstock, so it, it's not floppy. If you use paper, you know, it's going to droop like that. Right. But this is cardstock, so it's, it's pretty stiff. And on one of the pieces, uh, I put the nail hole. So Right in the middle. Right in the middle there. And then how this would work is we, we could try it outside too. We are going to go outside, folks, to try this out. We're going on a field trip, guys. <laughs> uh, is you know, pretend like the sun is behind us, and you would put this like on the ground, and you would put this side with the hole above it, so yeah, so you see the shadow on top of this, and then through the hole, it will project the sun onto here. Huh. So it's a it's a very simple way to view it uh, safely, uh, where you're not looking directly at the sun. Cool. Okay. So All right. That's another way. So let us. Yes. I just want to do really quickly just to bring a couple of safe things because of like some of the comments that have gone around. Yes. <laughs> the, um, the welding shield. Several people have said that the welder's mask must be at least a fourteen. Oh, okay. okay. So, so uh, I think this is something we're not. We don't know what. And we don't know anything about welding masks. If anyone wants to do an alternative, <laughs> they should be. They should look into. Yeah, look into it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Including a couple of people asking about X-ray film. We not know, so right. Actually, um, I don't know. We are not experts on that. Yes. Yeah. We do know about um, cereal boxes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and I, the, the sun's rays are so strong, and you, know, you shouldn't look directly at the sun. So I'm wary of using anything. Uh, you know, e even even the ones that you get on Amazon mm -hmm. or uh, at the public library, I'm, I'm still suspicious of them because you just do not want to look directly at yeah. the sun. Right. <laughs> and, and Jonathan, um, uh, let's see, LaDonna asks, why does it have to be a small nail hole and nothing bigger? Oh, uh, that's, that's a really good, good question. That's a really good question. Uh, the small nail hole will give it a little bit more detail. Like a, a bigger hole makes it a little bit more fuzzy. Uh, so, uh, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, with a bigger hole, you may be able to see like a bigger thing in there, but it's, it's not going to be very clear. Whereas you'll see later when, uh, when you see the projection with this little pinhole, it's pretty sharp. So, yeah. so that's why. And then, and then I know somebody else might have a question is, you know, why can you poke directly into the paper here, but why, and then we're using aluminum foil here. Right? Right. Like what's, why, why is that why different? Why switch it up? Well, you can do aluminum foil here. Uh, the, the reason I do aluminum foil here is it's, if we mess up the aluminum foil, we can take this off and just, and just replace it with Later. another piece. Uh, this, if we mess it up, we can just get another piece, piece of white paper. So that's really why I do okay. that. Okay. Any other questions or any other comments uh, or uh, shout outs we should give before we actually try this out? Uh, no, for, let me just take a look really quickly. You know, I think, I think the main thing to say is everyone should be uh, very careful, you know, you know, about looking at the sun. Don't look directly at the right yeah. or, yeah. or the sun. Just yeah. don't do it. Yeah. Um, do not say it enough. Do not look, look directly at the sun. Yes. Um, yeah, so just make sure everyone, if you're, if you're not going to go with this route, if you're choosing something else, sunglasses, um, I do, you know what, I'll share a link on our page that is how to know if your solar eclipse glasses are safe. Oh, okay, so yeah. great, great, great. Well, that's what I want to be safe. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. want everybody to be safe. So, yeah, so we will have a link in the comment section yes. uh, about how you can tell whether your, uh, your eclipse glasses are safe. So yes. that, that's a great resource. Yes. Uh, yeah, do not look directly at the sun. I, I remember this was drilled into uh, us when we were we were kids, mm -hmm. and, and I still did it at times. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I was so terrified. <laughs> I, I, all day, I, I was like this: <laughs> cannot look at the sun. <laughs> oh man! And, and even I looked at something sunny, and I thought I was going to go blind. So yeah, <laughs> just be, please be careful. So yes. uh, are we ready to walk outside? I'm ready. We're Let's gonna go try on this field trip. Okay. Grab the glasses. I'll grab the. Cardstock? Yeah. Try it. See what happens? Okay. All right, let's go. Demonstration is happening. People are waiting for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. They want it. Just follow us. <laughs> this is very exciting. We've never done this on Facebook Live before to have a field trip like this.
Yeah, so we're going to walk backwards. So, And if I run into furniture, it'll be more fun. So if you were just tuning in, we just made Eclipse a pinhole projectors with cereal boxes. And we are going outside to try them. And let's hope that there's actually sun. Someone just said, why is the other side not covered? And I don't know if oh, they're, this meaning, side? Maybe they're meaning that yeah, yeah, this side isn't covered because this is the side that we are uh, looking into. Yes. Uh, this is the viewer side. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, I think there's sun. Okay. All right, guys, get excited. Okay, let me try this out. So the sun is just right above me up here. Oh, it works, totally. Okay, so so the, the sun is behind me, and I'm looking through this hole here. So, so Do you think the camera would be able to see it? Yeah. Uh, uh, see, can you look in here? C can the camera see? Uh, oh, whoa! You can see it on mine. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. We were seeing it. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, yeah. Oh. See, are they, the camera's blocking the uh, sun, maybe. Uh, but yeah. it is so cool. It the cool thing about it is because it's inside the cereal box, uh, right there. it's totally black in the as if, especially if you're putting your eye totally into the viewer hole. You see it. Let us know. <laughs> so, so what you're seeing is the projection of the sun. And I don't know how it works, but it's, it's actually, uh, the projection is ups, an upside down image of the sun uh, because that's how it, uh, the projector works. Uh, and uh, since it's a perfectly round sun right now, uh, you really can't tell it's upside down. But this is so cool that you can actually see it. And right now it's a totally uh, round sun, but when the eclipse happens, you'll be able to see the, uh, the projection on it. Okay, so let's try, uh, try it with this, this paper Yeah, because I'm not sure I know how to okay. do it this Okay, way. So, so see, there's the white thing on the ground, paper on the ground here, and then we have this white one with the, uh, with the hole. And we're gonna move it until we Oh. The shadow goes directly above the paper. And so what you're seeing here is the projection. And to move it away, the larger the image is. So do you see that? And when you put it closer, the image is smaller. And move it farther away, and the image is bigger. And notice how clear the edges are. And that's because we have a very small pinhole. Cool, huh? So cool. I like the box trick too. Patricia does say, why would anyone want to watch it in a box then? <laughs> <laughs> well, well it, it's true, but you're watching it in a box because you can't look directly at the sun. Yeah, some people don't have glasses. Yeah, and a lot of so people. Fun. Yeah, a lot of people do. If you have like certified safe uh, eclipse glasses, great, you use them. But if you don't, this is yeah. you know, one of the few ways you can watch it because do not. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Do not look directly at the sun. And even when there's not an eclipse on a regular day, do not look directly at the sun. And even with sunglasses, do not look directly at the sun. Have I said do not look directly at the sun? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Can you say, say it one more box, time? The box thing, though, like, like I have kids, they love this kind of stuff. Yeah and, yeah. and you know what? With this box, I can't explain enough. It is so cool once you actually see inside of it so I would definitely recommend giving it a try um, and if you ha are in one of those cities where you're really gonna get to see it it would be a really cool thing if you don't have the glasses so you can really yeah. experience it yeah I'm, I'm curious how this will look uh, in a city like like ours where we're not in the path of totality right uh, so it'll be partial uh, I think it'll be cool to see partial uh, yeah uh, but yeah this, this box is so cool because it's like being in a dark theater. You know, it's yeah, it's totally black inside, mm -hmm. except for the little uh, projection of the sun. And it is so realistic. It, it really is the sun. It <laughs> yeah, really is the sun, guys. I can't explain yeah, it yeah. enough. Uh, so, I, I don't know. Do we have anything to add to this? Uh, any well, more shout-outs? Someone says, Lorda says, can't you use sunglasses? 
Oh, do Here's not use sunglasses. No, the answer is no. Um, do not look at the sun with sunglasses. And then also, um, Donna said, so you keep your back to the sun? Yes, you're keeping your back to the sun because the sun needs to be shining down like uh, behind you towards the pinhole. See, so never, like I'm not gonna even do this, but never like hold this up to the sun and look at the sun this way. Wrong, do not do that. <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. Okay. Keep the sun uh, behind you. <laughs> yeah, keep the sun behind you because you do not want to look at the sun. The sun is coming down here. Okay. Any other questions? Well, Teresa, who says I'm just seeing this that regular paper on the ground. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cardstock on yeah. the ground. Um, also, you guys, I shared um, Jonathan your full DIY. Oh, I oh yes. Comments, so I forgot. I, I have a full DIY on this on eHow, and, and the tutorial, the link to the tutorial, is in the comment section. So look at that. So you can get a step by step. On, on how I did this. Uh, and also, this is the voice behind the camera. Oh, yeah. Lori. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome. Yeah, we have a whole team here. <laughs> well, uh, if there are no more questions, I think that's it. Yeah, can wrap thank up. you so much for, to everybody all over the world for tuning in. Yeah, I mean, we, we had, had so, so much fun. fun. This one was awesome. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, should I sing? The <laughs> totally totally clips of the heart. heart. <laughs> Okay, that's um, it. That's, yeah, that's all we it. got. Okay. Thank you for everybody for <laughs> tuning in. Bye. Thank See you, you next time. <laughs>